this chair, we're gonna draw a funny llama. Yeah, we're gonna draw a llama ready for summer with sunglasses, and we're just gonna draw a portrait, meaning just the head of our llama. Yes. So we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have to draw with. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our llama's sunglasses. We're gonna draw them towards the top of our paper, but in the middle. We're gonna start by drawing two U shapes, two letter U's, and we're gonna draw them with a little space in between. So first, let's draw two dots. I'm gonna draw two dots like that, and we're gonna draw them with the space. Yes. And then we're gonna draw the letter U. This is for the lenses. So we're gonna draw one letter U, about that big, and then the same size letter U over here for the other lens. And mine's a little bit bigger on the right, but that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yes. Okay, now let's draw the top of our lens. We're gonna draw a line that connects to the other side, and we'll do the same thing for this lens. Yeah, now let's draw the frame that goes around the lenses. We're gonna start at the bottom, and we're gonna trace around, but leave space, we're gonna trace around, but watch this. We're gonna connect over to the other side for the other lens for the nose piece. And then we're gonna trace over to here. I think drawing sunglasses is really fun. Yeah. You could do this on any of your drawings. Mm -hmm. Just remember the same steps. Okay, now let's draw the top of our sunglasses. I'm gonna come out just a little on each side. Then we'll come up a little on each side. And then we're gonna connect, but watch me, we're gonna connect by drawing over, and then we're gonna come down, back up, and then we'll connect over on the other side. Yeah, you did it. Almost. There you go. <laughs> now let's draw our llama's face. We're gonna start by drawing the nose. We're gonna come down right in the middle of the glasses. We're gonna come about this far, and we're gonna draw the letter U, but we're gonna draw it kind of short and skinny. Then we're gonna come out to the left and also the right. Then we're gonna come down from the left and then connect in. Almost looks like we're making a face, an angry face. <laughs> These are the nostrils for our llama's nose. Let's color in those shapes. Then we're gonna draw the mouth next. I'm gonna start here. We can start inside of the nose if you have room. We're gonna draw a line coming down, straight, and then we're gonna curve. Let's curve out to the left, and we're gonna curve up, and almost as high as the nose. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. <laughs> now it's starting to look like a llama. Yeah. <laughs> or some kind of animal. Yeah, some kind of animal. <laughs> Could be a gorilla, too. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the chin for a llama. I'm gonna start here, and we can draw a line that comes down, and maybe you could add a few zigzags, and then we'll come back up. So we just got this little fuzzy U shape right here. And then we're gonna draw the cheeks. We'll start here on the chin. We're gonna draw a zigzag line coming up, but then we're gonna go really steep up into the, connect to the bottom of the glasses. So we come right up, and then connect into the glasses. That's okay, keep going. You can come all the way up to here. I love that yours is different. That's okay, right? Yeah. And they're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too. The most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. On this side, I'm gonna try to draw the same thing. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that comes up and then connects in. On this cheek, you could do the same thing. Draw a zigzag line coming out and then connect up to here too. I love that. Mine, mine's gonna have a little skinnier head and yours is going to be a little wider. And they're both awesome. Yeah, there you go. I love that your llama face is a little wider. <laughs> He's cool too. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the forehead. We're gonna draw a zigzag coming out of the top. So I'm gonna draw it here. Though I drew it coming in because I'm imagining this line going behind the glasses and coming out. On yours, you could draw it right here on the end. And we're not going to go up very high. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Imagine mine coming up through here. And I'm gonna draw zigzags going this way. Okay, now let's start in the middle. And we're gonna draw a zigzag line connecting out to the side, both directions. Mm 
Yeah. Okay, now let's give our llama some cool hair. I'm going to draw a zigzag line that comes up a little higher. And we'll do the same thing on this. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's got some cool hair. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. Yes. And then let's connect the top. I'm going to draw a zigzag. And we could draw this messy. You don't have to worry about trying to make it look exactly like mine. We got, oh, it looks like he's got a mohawk, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's also draw the hair coming down the side. So I'm going to draw another zigzag line coming down. Watch, I'm going to draw it coming out a little further down here. But on yours, you could draw the zigzag line kind of coming straight down because your head is already wide. So watch, I'll do mine first and you can watch what I do. So maybe we can come down and we could come out a little bit and I'm going to stop there. So you could come down and maybe right here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Yeah, that looks awesome, Austin. Then we're going to do the same thing here. <laughs> I love our llama portraits. Some are llama portraits. And then let's draw the neckline. I'm going to draw a zigzag line. I love that each of the zigzags we can do different. We can change them so that some of them are small, some are big. And also some are rounded and others are sharp. Our llama looks really cool. Well, he kind of looks like a gorilla. What's he missing? Big ears. Yeah, or she. Yeah, they're missing big ears. Let's draw a diagonal line that comes up, but I'm also drawing it kind of wobbly. It's not perfectly straight. I'm going to draw another one. Oh, now it looks like an alien. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Then right here, we're going to draw a little curve at the end, so it's not a sharp corner. And then we're going to curve down and then connect into, almost like we're drawing bunny ears, huh? Yeah. Then we're going to do the same curve right here. We'll curve down and then connect in. We did it! We finished drawing our summer llamas and he looks so cool. Except he's going to look a lot better once we do what? Color it! Yeah! This part will fast forward but at the end we'll talk about the colors that we use and you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yeah! Let's take a little break and we can tell our art friends what we're doing with the colors. We're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, the first color we use was 26, which is a really light yellow. And don't worry though, you could use a different brand of alcohol-based markers if you're using marker paper, but you could also use something completely different like colored pencils or even crayons or even oil pastels. We also use 26 yellow for inside the ears. Then we use 97, which is kind of a pink, uh, peach color and we use that for shading underneath the llama's head, also under the sunglasses, also right here across the forehead and down here at the bottom. Now let's switch to our really light pink for the nose and I'm going to color the inside of the nose and above the nose. One of the things that we try to be careful with when we're coloring with our markers is if you go over, especially with some of the lighter colors like the 17 pink, if you color over the black marker, it'll blend and pick up some of that dark black into and mix with the colors. Sometimes I like that look. It can add to the shading, but sometimes I try to stay away from the black markers so that it doesn't pick that up and smear it. So I'm going to also add a shadow underneath the sunglasses with this pink color. And we can also add a little shadow up here underneath the fur on the forehead and down the side. Oh, and let's also use this to add texture and shading inside of our llama's ear. So I'm going to draw maybe a shadow that comes down like this and we can add some of that texture on top of the yellow. Oh, it looks really cool. I'm also going to add a little shadow right here on the side of the ear, down here at the bottom and up at the top. Let's also add this shading on the right ear and I like doing it fast so that you can make this really cool texture. And I'm going to add a little shadow going up the outside of the ear and maybe you could even add it down here on the bottom of the ear. I'm going to add it over here too. That looks really cool, Austin. You're doing awesome. Okay, now let's switch to 88. We're going to color in the sunglasses, the frame 
of the sunglasses, we're gonna use 88 pink, but you could also change this to a different color, maybe blue or purple. Now I'm using 66 blue for the lenses, and let's make them super reflective. Oh yeah, you almost got it. Keep going. There you go. Now let's switch to our blue 66, and before we color them in solid, let's add clouds for the reflection in our llama sunglasses. So I'm gonna add some cloud lines in here. And then when you color it in, be sure to leave the clouds white. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our summer llamas. Yours is my favorite. Thank you. Yours uh, is my favorite. <laughs> thanks. I especially love your hairdo on your llama. <laughs> it looks very tough. <laughs> yeah. I also really like the blue border that we added to our drawing, and I especially really like the sunglasses. Yeah. We also added a fur texture. Oh yeah, you can barely see it. We used 33 yellow, just a darker yellow, and added little curved lines to make him look like he has curly fur. Yeah. But remember, you can color your llamas any way you want. You could also finish the background completely. Maybe there's a beach with sand and also the water with some palm trees. You can also make it a body. Oh yeah, you could finish the body coming down further. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your summer llama. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.